funny to see the people's reaction. Well, I think that street art and, and fashion are both very democratic mediums. That's, I think, as most street artists, when you start doing legal stuff and you're working in the street and, and you can interact with people, it's funny to see what they're worried about. Street art and, and fashion are both very democratic mediums um, and ephemeral in a way. Street art, you put it up, you don't know how long it's going to last, um, so you're not precious about it. With fashion, things change very quickly, so you have to you have to be creative, make things, and then abandon that and move on to the next thing. I always uh, used what I call the inside-outside strategy. The first week I made my Andre the Giant sticker, I made t-shirts of the same thing, assuming that I could um, I could pay for what I was doing with all the stickers and the posters by selling graphics of the same images. That is very different from when we started. It's like an ecosystem now. I mean, it's, it's just not about painting a wall and there's like 50 people waiting for him to sign something. And it feels like uh, seeing a kind of rock star. The whole culture has changed a lot. And that's, I'm not saying it's positive. I'm saying it's interesting to see how, yeah, how it's changed. The street art aussi, il faut aussi que ça reste dans la rue. Il ne faut pas le dénaturer. Et le boulot de galeriste, il ne faut pas rester galeriste classique qui est là, qui prend des pièces, qui les vend. Il euh, faut que le, le statut du galeriste petit à petit change aussi et, et qu'il propose aux artistes ce dont réellement ils ont besoin. I mean, one of the things that I've tried to do as an artist is not only talk about social things in the artwork itself, but also use that artwork to generate money that I can use to support to, to support different charities. And I, I work with a lot of different charities, um, but there, there are things like um, Occupy that I think are very important right now in the, in the U.S. because, uh, you know, the, the, there's a lot of, um, you know, corporate violence for sale. There's, uh, <laughs> I think I have another Occupy sticker right here. Um, yeah, you know, um, and, um, you know, I make images and give them away to that movement and have uh, donated money to things be because the average person doesn't have enough influence over what's going on compared to the corporations. It should be one person, one vote, the same amount of influence, but it's not working that way. The Friday Foundation tries to keep the oceans clean. There are a lot of different things that I'm really worried about, about um, the planet, the resources of the planet, because you know, uh, the population's growing, resources are diminishing, um, uh, climate change, too much CO2 in the, you know, in the atmosphere. So, um, whatever I can do um, in my art and then with money I make from my art, um, you know, I try, I try to do it. Au niveau des locataires, Je pense qu'ils ont vécu quelque chose pendant ces trois jours d'assez particulier. Il y a eu beaucoup de monde, surtout que c'est un immeuble en fait de, de classe populaire. Donc euh, on n'est pas trop habitué. Et, voilà. et en plus, bon, on apporte un, un intérêt à notre immeuble vraiment euh, mmh. bien. Donc franchement, c'était vraiment très sympa. And you're working in the street and, and you can interact with people. It's funny to see what they're worried about. Uh, how they uh, uh, receive, perceive it as being a communist image just because there's red. I don't, I don't, I don't regret supporting Obama because the alternatives, uh, the viable alternative, John McCain was far worse. Um, so I haven't been completely happy with Obama because I think that 
a lot of the things he said in his campaign, he hasn't pushed hard enough. You know, Obama, like any other politician in the current campaign fundraising system, is beholden to big donors, special interests, and corporations. So that's why I'm not doing anything for Obama now, and I'm doing stuff for Occupy.